Good day and good morning everyone. Happy to see you all here. I did like to welcome all, all of you and thank you for coming. I do not intend to waste any time. So let's get started. I would like to call the meeting order. Shall we begin? Yes. yes. I trust in front of all of you have the agenda for today. So let's refer to the item first. Are there any apologies for absence for the same meeting? Yes. Ma Ali bin Abu can attend because his mother sick. I need to take her to go to Alright. Let's all go to the minutes of the last meeting where we are discussed earlier. Are there any correlations or amendments to the meeting? No, Mr. Chairman. Please continue. Thank you. Can someone propose me the minutes to be accepted? Yes, I propose the minutes to be accepted. I second the motion. Okay, that's the minute of last meeting approved. Now, we are coming to the item 3 on the agenda, matter arising. I'd like to start with follow up on the action to discuss with previous. Zaki, can you give us an update? Uh, at our last meeting, uh, we discovered the various club security issues, including the data breach, insufficient the, uh, access control, unsecure interface, and system vulnerability. We have made progress by uh, encrypting critical data, improving identity and the access control procedure, and doing uh, an initial risk assessment on our cloud architecture. This sounds a good progress, but for our incident response plan for cloud specific incident? We are still uh, working on it. We have found several flaws in our current approach, especially in the concept of the cloud setting and working on the established a more comprehensive strategy. Regarding our compliance with uh, GDPR and HIPA in the cloud, which was a major concern raised last time, we have initiated a compliance review of our cloud providers. However, it's a complex process, and we are considering seeking external expertise to ensure compliance. It is important that we get this correct, that means hiring a student Suitable as an external agency complement information as a top priority. We also mentioned that agency to enhance the cloud security training for our local last time. What are, what are the status of, of that? Uh, we are finalizing the provider while investigating prospective uh, training program on advanced cloud security issues such as incident response and the shared responsible model. Okay, that sounds good. Our training is the highest priority to us. Secretary, we are to complete the certificate training as soon as possible. I will do. I will uh, include this in the action item and track the program. Okay, finally, we will discuss about conducting a cloud security housed by the external agency. Have we made any progress on that? We have shortlisted, <coughs> shortlisted a few agencies and uh, uh, in the process of evaluating their proposals. So we aim to decide by the end of this month. Let's now now move our attention to finding the new cyber security specialist. As we already said, that addressing the lack of cyber security expertise is the essential part of our agenda today. I'd like to begin my invitation to you provide any criteria or qualification that you feel perfect application should have. What are we necessary talents, credentials or degrees of experience that we need in cybersecurity especially? So hi Sal, please make sure your phone is silent during the meeting. Sorry, uh, I forgot to silent my phone. Everyone, please make sure you guys also silent your phone. Where are we now? Continue, Mr. Zaki. Um, I have conducted uh, further research and consultation with the, with the relevant experts and institutions. It is apparent that Malaysia is suffering from the severe uh, shortage of cybersecurity expertise, which is a consist, uh, consistent with the nation digital plan and the concern expressed by the communication and digital minister, uh, which is uh, Fahmi Fazli. Uh, one important uh, qualification should be relevant uh, certifications such as the ISSP, 
and CEH, uh, which is demonstrate a strong foundation in cybersecurity. Patients are essential to be sure. We should also look for people with, with hands on expertise in threat, <coughs> in threat identification and incident response. In the sector, hands on experience is important. Uh, given the ever changing nature of cyber risk, I propose that we emphasize applicants who are up to date on the newest security trends and technology. Their skill set should include continuous learning and adaptation. Okay, thank you for your insightful comments. Obvious that we are requiring a candidate with a solid background and appropriate certification, practical experience, and dedicated to continuous learning. Now, in terms of hiring, I advise that we speed the team up by working on the specialized requirement frame and stepping into the professional network. We are, what are your opinions on the approach? I agree that collaborating with hiring agencies is a good idea. They can assist us in more effectively identifying possible candidates and ensuring that they fulfill our standards. We should examine external recommendations in addition to agencies. Our current workers may be aware of qualified person in their networks. That's a good idea. Let us combine the effort of hiring agency and internal recommendation and perhaps even explore, explore using the government incentive to take in the article to attract the client. Do we have the rough schedule in mind to recruit to recruiting the process before we wrap up this debate? Given the bullet nature of cybersecurity industry. Given the importance of the situation, I recommend that we attempt to complete the hiring process within the next two months. This will allow us to bring a new specialist and begin addressing our cybersecurity requirements. Okay, as we all heard in the motion, prioritize the hiring of new cybersecurity specialists to address and the press need. Let's, let's have now show hands from those who are in favor of the motion to hire the new cybersecurity specialist. So, we gladly accept the agenda of hiring the new cybersecurity specialist. Hope oh, it's unanimous then. Since everyone agrees, it's resolved that I will assign this task to the subcommittee that led by Mr. Nazahan and ensure it's aligned with our overall cybersecurity essential. The deadline for this task is by March 2024. Okay, let us now proceed to the next agenda of this for today, which are provide the specific training for the new employees. As our organization, organization continues to grow, it's crucial that we are need to provide comprehensive training for our new employees. Absolutely, Mr. Chairman. I propose we establish a specific training program tailored to the needs of our new hires, covering aspects such as foundational knowledge, which include networking fundamentals and security fundamentals. Okay, great suggestion by Mr. Afik. Let's have deep into the details. What are the key components that we need or we want to include in this training program? So, uh, I recommend this include an orientation a session in which new workers uh, may learn about programming and scripting to improve their understanding uh, of Python, Java, and C++. Furthermore, hands-on training for their specialized tasks as well as mentorship opportunities might greatly improve their entire experience. Very good, Mr. Hans. Please collaborate with the HR staff and develop a close training schedule we want to make sure it is both informative and entertaining. Let us decide on the timetable for implementing the plan graphic. Certainly, Mr. Chairman. I suggest we aim to roll out the new training program by the beginning of the next quarter. This will give us enough time to develop the content and communicate the change to all relevant departments. Okay. It is important that we communicate the significance of this training to all of us. Stuff for you, Mr. 
Zaki work on this communication strategy to ensure that everyone is informed and plan plan the change. Uh, certainly, Mr. Chairman, I will create a communication plan to tell all the staff about the new hiring uh, initiative. Okay, thank you, Zaki. Once our training program is in place, let's monitor the effectiveness and gather the feedback for continued improvement. Now, as we all heard all sides of the matters, can we now vote on the motion to establish the new program? I propose to approve the establishment of the new training program as discussed. Let's have now show hands from those who are in favor in the motion of establishing the new training program. So, we accept the motion that we establish the new training program. Oh, it's an unanimous there. Since everyone agrees, it resolved that we are established the new training program and finally start our suggestion on this matter. Make sure this works in line with our border cyber So, I will assign this to submit the chat by Mr. Afi and this job has the, del- the deadline on March 15, 2024. Okay, we are now ready to discuss any other business. We are open to any comment and suggestion. Would anyone like to start? Yes, uh, I would like to call your attention to recent increase in phishing attempts against our firm. Uh, we have noticed uh, an increase in suspicious emails aiming to trick staff into disclosing important information. Janala, thank you for bringing this up. Could you please clarify the specific of this attempt? It is important that everyone should be aware of this method. Uh, sure. Uh, we have all received uh, emails uh, posting as urgent, uh, like urgent demands from within departments requesting a login password or personal information. Some have malicious files or URLs that lead to fake login sites. Thank you for bringing this Traffic, would you please provide us an update on the current situation? Sure. For the update, we are refining the training program for the new employees which suggested it happens. Others, we need to outline requirement, requirement uh, strategy and refine the interview process for hiring a cybersecurity specialist. Okay. If that's the case, let's consider the operate option of hiring specialized training to the new employee and hiring new cybersecurity specialist. Mr. Nathan, please gather the material from the service provider and present it to our, our forthcoming Thank you. Our next item date, time and venue for the next meeting. So uh, the next meeting should be held on the 26 January 2024 at uh, 2 p.m. in this address. If this meeting will do, is that all right with all of you? Yes, 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 sure. I think that's all for now. And is there anything else or any question or any comment you all want to keep? Thank you.